A celebration for kids on the top floor of the Frank Crowley Courthouse in downtown Dallas. The kids and their families who survived the trauma of physical or sexual abuse. And now they have to sit in a courtroom and talk about what happened to them. But thanks to the Kids in Court program, they're going to be better prepared. Fox 4's Sean Rabb outside the courthouse with the story. Sean. Hey, good evening to you all. You know what? We're talking about children, teenagers who've already endured what no one should experience. Now they have to testify in court? I mean, think about that. Testifying can be hard for adults who aren't familiar with this system. Uh, it can be daunting, but this program, Kids in Court, in place for some 30 years now, a big encouragement to these kids and their families, prepping them to face what can be fearful. A happy and festive atmosphere for kids who've suffered hurtful and frightening abuse. I still get choked up behind it looking at the pictures. Uh, he was injured pretty badly. My grandson, he was one years old, and my daughter's boyfriend abused him, put him in a hospital. We won't tell you who they are, but from toddlers to teens, physically or sexually abused, little people who have to sit on a witness stand in a courtroom and do what's daunting for even big people. It's petrifying and it's, it's almost re-traumatizing because we're having to have this kiddo talk about the bad things that happened to him or her in front of a room full of strangers and it's a uh, very personal. That's where the Kids in Court program comes in. So the program is intended to demystify the court process. Kids spend a day in a courtroom learning through play so the fear, if not goes away, subsides. At the end of the day, a cupcake and pizza party. I think this makes a tremendous difference. I can almost see it from the time the kids first walk in that morning until they leave, have their pizza and leave. The National Council of Jewish Women sponsored this event for 30 years now, joined by BACA, Bikers Against Child Abuse, who offer their presence as security. We all have a heart for these kids. We see the fear in these kids sometimes. Uh, so our basic mission statement is to help them, empower them to not be afraid of the world that they live in. And the Children's Advocacy Center in the middle of it all, walking with families and their children every step of the way. Although you understand what they what possibly got them here, the other thing that you understand and you think about is the hope. You think about the healing. You think about all of these agencies coming together to say, we got you and we're going to take care of you. When kids have to go to court. I think it alleviates the concerns of what the room looks like, where the judge is going to be, what the prosecutor is going to be doing. And I think that that helps in um, taking away some of that unknown prior to having to deal with something so serious. So serious for children so young with so much weighing on what they tell a judge. His court case is coming up sometime soon, so hopefully we'll be able to get this guy charged and put in jail. You know, I think this does a lot more than just prepare them to testify. After all that they have experienced, it says to them there are people who care about you and are committed to helping you get through what can be a terribly tough time. It's a great program. Indeed. All right, Sean Rabb, thank you.